It's the kind of thing that can literally be life changing. $140,000 worth of help to turn an idea into a physical storefront in Sacramento, all courtesy of the Downtown Partnerships Calling All Dreamers competition. I am lucky enough to be joined live by the winner, Federico Garcia, who's had that news for about 24 hours now. Also with us this morning, Emily Hoffman from the Downtown Sacramento Partnership. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Federico, congratulations. How are you feeling? Has the win really sunk in yet? Thank you. I feel great. I feel like I graduated. So now I need to start working hard to open a new space for Sacramento. I know. <laughs> or open my bakery cafe. <laughs> Yes, a bakery cafe. I know you've been selling your Argentinian empanadas since 2019 through your business, Gusto Gaucho, mainly operating, I hear, at farmer's markets. And then your customers, they were telling you to keep going and growing your business. Is that what convinced you to enter this competition? They definitely encouraged me to keep going because they, they, they said I really enjoyed my product. Um, what kid me or what made me um, participate in the Colonial Dreamers is that it is a great platform where to launch my business. So when once I found out about the competition, I, I thought it was great for me as the next step where before I open my, uh, my front doors. Now, what did you put into your proposal that you were really hoping would wow the judges and bring you this win? What did you tell them? Um, I, I think that definitely the idea of a new bakery for Sacramento, that it is very multicultural, but you cannot find Argentinian food. So the idea is to bring Argentinian pastries, Argentinian empanadas, mate. So I think that the new concept for, um, for the judges, pretty, they really appeal to, to that idea. And they believed in my vision. They did. They did. Emily, how exciting this is. What really stood out about what Federico has been doing and the potential that his concept might have as a storefront? Yeah, you know, I really think that our selection committee was looking for somebody who is extremely passionate about their product, about their business idea. And Federico definitely had all the elements that they were looking for. Um, I think one of the other things that really stood out about him throughout the competition was the fact that he was actually um, our public vote winner. So he received the most votes when it was put out to the public and people were asked to vote for their favorite business concept. Um, he won that. And I think that that says um, a lot about how successful his storefront is going to be in downtown. I think people are really excited to see him open soon. And I know we at the Downtown Sacramento Partnership and the foundation just can't wait for that to happen. Probably a lot of those folks who come to see you at those farmers markets, they got online, Federico, they got online. Well, legal and marketing help are part of this win as well as $20,000 cash. And then the rest of that $140,000 is in-kind services. It's a competition that's been going for seven years. And Emily, what kind of impact has this had on downtown Sacramento in terms of jobs added and businesses opened? Yeah, so I think that one of the amazing things about the, the Calling All Dreamers competition for downtown is that it doesn't just benefit the winner. We've seen almost 30 storefronts open as a result of the Calling All Dreamers competition. Um, some of them were not winners of the program. So um, Wired Wine was a past participant. They actually just expanded to a second location this year. And same with Blossom Bathhouse at the old Sacramento waterfront. They also just opened a brand new store full bloom at the old Sacramento waterfront. So I think that the Calling All Dreamers competition is really about getting inspiring entrepreneurs who are looking forward to taking the next step to open their business. And the Calling All Dreamers program really helps them make that happen. Very exciting to hear that really kind of focusing the vision like you were just talking about and maybe just getting the word out for some other investors. Now, Federico, people usually think of cheese and beef when they think of empanadas. But mm -hmm. I hear you also make uh, dulce de leche empanadas. Right. The dulce de leche is our primary, let's say, jam that we use for the, our pastries. So I plan on bringing dulce de leche, mate, that is a, an energetic drink that we we have a lot in uh, in South America, especially in Argentina, Uruguay. So I also plan on bringing new flavors such as um, ricotta pastries and guava pastries. So the idea is yes to 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 bring new new options for the Sacramento markets and Sacramento palates, Sacramento palates. 
this is just so much fun. And then Emily, just quickly before we run out of time, um, how soon should we be looking for a storefront with all of the help that's coming from the downtown partnership? How, how long does it usually take as you've seen over these years with winners? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think it could take, um, you know, as, as soon as six months to a year, a year and a half. I think it'll just depend on the space that Federico finds. Um, he's still looking for the perfect space and we're helping him find that. So um, just look for that soon. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's all I can say for now. Oh, no, that's quite enough. So well, a lot of people are going to be looking for it. Both of you, thank you so much for joining me. And if you just have to have some of the contest winning goodies right now, go online to gustogaucho.com. It is almost lunchtime, so uh, definitely mm -hmm. get your treats. Federico, again, congratulations. Thank you very much. And thank you for allowing me to explain my concept to Sacramento people. Definitely. Thanks, guys.